Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Shelby Pie here with another episode of Mystery Box. And today I've got a, another mystery box that I'm gonna be unpacking. So I need to guess what's in here. And it's really hard one. I think it might be a bedside lamp or alarm clock. It's not that heavy, but I, I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, that's cool. The Mi Smart sensor set, the smart home kit. That's the one that I'm very familiar with. Let me try to neatly open it. Oh, that's cool. I'm very familiar with this set as I did quite a few videos about this, this concept on my channel. So this is the Mi Smart Control Hub, which is a little bit of an updated design, which looks great actually. It's a little bit rounder. Then we have two motion sensors, then we have a wireless switch, and then we have two window and door sensors. And you can see they're magnetic, so you're... you're <laughs> it's funny. Actually, really well hidden is this uh, instruction booklets and this small reset key that you can use if you need to repair or reset any of the sensors. And there's some extra stickers apparently, so if you uh, want to attach and remove, then you can reattach your window and door sensors. So some extra stickers, that's helpful. Small instruction booklets. All right, let's, uh, let's install this and see what it does. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the Xiaomi Home app where I'm gonna install this hub as a new device because all these child devices are gonna be connected to this hub. That's how this set works. So, so I got a power strip here. I can plug it in. You can see it lights up right away. And we're gonna install it in the Xiaomi Home app. So I'm opening up the Mi Jia or Xiaomi Home app, add a new device. I'm gonna choose to add it manually. Um, I'm going to... Waiting to connect. Please open the app. Thank you. We go to household security and I'm gonna select Mi Control Hub. Scanning for a device. I can select the Wi-Fi network now. So once uh, I select my router, I can Choose to install it. Bring phone close to device. It's connecting. Connecting. Please wait. That's what I just said. Wi-Fi connected successfully. I think it's a she. You get along very well. So once it's uh, connected, I can select a room or like a virtual room in the app to pair it with. Um, I'm just choosing living room. Device name is Me Control Hub. Okay, I don't need to share. If I want to share this with family members, I could do that right here from the app. So while this is installing, we can actually quickly have a look at what these sensors are. Um, so these are two motion sensors, and what these do is they detect movement. I can use these to turn a light on or off. I can use these to um, maybe use the nightlight on the hub itself, but I can also use them as a home security alarm so that when an intruder comes in, and the uh, motion detector notice someone coming in at a certain time or when you have the alarm turned on, uh, it will send a notification to your phone. Same goes for these door and window sensors. I can use it with, um, uh, with the alarm. So whenever the door or window gets opened, I get a notification, maybe the alarm goes off on the hub, um, but I can also use it with lights. So let's say I use one of these on, in the bathroom and I open up the bathroom door, automatically the lights will turn on so there's a lot of flexibility. Same goes for this wireless switch. Like I can, I can use this whenever I press it um, that I will turn on the alarm or that I turn on the light or like there's all kinds of functions. There's so many variables uh, in how to set this up. It's really depending on what your personal needs are. So we've installed it and now it's actually pretty cool because you buy this as a whole set. You can buy all these separately, but when you buy it as a whole set, the moment you install the hub, all of these sub devices or child devices are already connected. So I don't need to do anything. So right now um, I'm in the hub. So from the home uh, media app or the Mi Home app, I can go into the Mi Control Hub 
and I can see that I have two window and door sensors, I have two motion sensors, and I have one wireless switch. The speaker in this thing is very loud. So um, what it has done for us is there's already a few automation rules pre-installed. You can disable these, you can override them, you can make new ones. I'm gonna disable them so that not every time when I click this, we're gonna have the doorbell sound. Um, just to quickly look at how this works, it's very simple. So this hub is the only guy that connects to your router over Wi-Fi and all these child devices, they connect to this hub over Zigbee. And this hub actually, besides being this bridge or hub to connect all these child devices, has a few functions of its own. And you can find that in the app if you go to the auto settings. Here you can see that this uh, can be set up as a smart security alarm and you don't need any subscriptions for it. It's very convenient. We can use these as a trigger for our alarm so that when someone enters our, our apartment at night that it will trigger the alarm, send you a notification to your phone like, hey, there's someone in your home. Same goes for the window and door sensors. They can be a trigger for your home alarm so that when someone comes in and opens up the window or the, or the door, that the alarm will go off and it will send you a notification on your phone. And uh, it also works as a nightlight. As you can see, the light has been on the whole time and we can program that to turn it on at a certain time. Um, you can set this thing up as an alarm clock. Um, there are all these types of uh, uh, ringtones that we can use. Or obviously the classic and you can use it as a doorbell maybe you can use one of these switches in front of your door um, and just hang it up it's all got like this uh, this tape on the back to stick it onto your door and when someone presses it it will ring the doorbell so this is very easy to set up I'll just show you one um, I click on doorbell I'm gonna say the trigger device is this switch right here and I can set a tone if I want to. Let's just use. Okay, so now when we press this button, it's uh, working as a doorbell. So under the last tab, under the devices menu, this is where you find uh, all the paired child devices and you can add a whole ton more. So we can add more motion sensors, we can add more window and door sensors, more of these switches. Simply go here to the device menu, add a child device, and you can pair more and more and more of these. So you can see here, these three. Whenever you buy one separately, you just need to use this reset button and it will pair. Actually, quick insider tip, kind of funny. If you wanna pair it the quick way, just use this button three times. Ready to connect to child devices. There we go. So that's a very interesting set. I really like the, the, the Mi Smart Sensor set because it's definitely one of the earliest products from Xiaomi that I used in my home. I'm very excited to see that this is gonna be in uh, a lot of other countries. So you might be able to get it in your country. Um, I'm gonna do a full review on my channel where you can actually find a lot more details about installing, setting up, all the various automation rules that you can set up. So check it out on the Xiaomi Fi YouTube channel if you wanna learn more, or check it out on me.com where you can find all the information and all these specs about these as well. So that was another episode of uh, Mystery Box with a very exciting set, one that I really like. And uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode. Peace. Show me.